Within any property or paddock, you're going to have different animals and those animals might be different breeds or different sizes. And the question that we need to ask ourselves is how much are those animals going to eat? Now, when we're looking at the intake of animals, there's two different components. The first one to look at is its maintenance intake. Now, the maintenance intake is needed for the animal to breathe, move, digest its food, keep warm, keep cool, repair its tissue, pump blood around the body, and basically maintain its body weight. And so the amount of maintenance intake is going to depend on the weight of the animal, the age, and the environment in which it's living. So if we think about those different needs for maintenance intake, it goes without saying that the larger the animal, the higher its maintenance intake. The other part of intake is its production intake. And this is the intake that's needed for the animal to be able to grow, uh, lay down fat, lactate and produce. And that's going to depend on feed quality, its breeding status and the weight gain. So an animal that has got higher weight gains is going to be eating more of the feed that it's got available. That's what's putting on the weight. So it's going to have a higher intake level. And with your breeding status, a lactating animal is going to eat significantly more than a pregnant or a breeding animal. And if we look at this, it's the, the higher the level of production, the higher the intake of the animal. So if we look at these different types of production, different types of animal, different sizes of animal, different levels of productivity, the question to ask ourselves is how do we compare apples with apples? How do we look at the intake across all these different types? And the research that was done is it looked at what's a 400 kg steer at maintenance, so zero weight gain per head per day. And they measured how much feed did that animal eat? And they called that one LSU, one large stock unit. And that became the standard reference point in the middle. And so all these other different types of animals at different levels of productivity were compared in terms of how much did they eat relative to that one LSU. And then on the back of that, a series of LSU tables were created, which looked at what was the intake at varying levels of productivity at different animal average weights. And that's how LSUs were created.